Begin the installation process for your Whirlpool water purifier. You first need to decide where you'll mount the system. The water purifier requires the use of a dedicated faucet, so determine where you want to install the faucet, on the sink or in an alternate location. There may already be a usable hole in your sink, possibly intended for a sprayer or soap dispenser. If not, you'll need to drill a new hole for the faucet. To start this process, first look under the sink to make sure there's enough room for the hole and tubing access. Sinks come in different materials, so you want to make sure you have the correct drill bit for the job. You'll need a hole that's one and a quarter inches in diameter. Once you determine where the faucet will be installed, choose a method of drilling for your sink type. Shown here is a porcelain coated cast iron sink. Start by drilling a pilot hole. Next, you'll drill through the sink. With a hole drilled into the sink or countertop, you can mount the faucet base to the hole. Slide the mounting screws and retainers into the hole. Tighten the screws to secure the faucet base to the sink or countertop, making sure both of the toggle wings are in contact with the sink surface. Now, slide the faucet's blue tubing down through the top of the faucet base. Secure the faucet to the faucet base by engaging the threads and giving it a quarter turn clockwise. Next, find the best location for the water purifier system. You'll want easy access to the filters for replacement. Make sure you provide at least one and a half inches beneath the filters. Begin by drilling a pilot hole for the first mounting screw. Attach the first screw and washer. Then level the water purifier and drill a pilot hole for the second screw eight and a half inches from the first hole and attach the second screw and washer. Remove the protective plugs from the yellow inlet and blue outlet ports before you mount the system. These ports utilize push to connect fittings for tubing connections. To connect, push the tubing into the collet. Make sure the tubing is inserted completely or three quarters of an inch. Make sure the supply water is shut off and the pressure is relieved before removing any tubing. To remove tubing from the fitting, push in the collet ring with your fingers and then pull the tubing out of the fitting. To make the filtered water tubing connection, slide the 3 8 inch blue tubing into the blue collet of the system. Ensure the tubing is pushed all the way into the fitting. It may be necessary to use the two bend supports to prevent the tubing from kinking when bent. With the blue tubing connected, you can mount the water purifier to the mounting washers. The faucet and water purifier are now installed. The next step is to attach the 3 8 inch yellow tubing, which is the feed water line. Insert the yellow tubing into the corresponding yellow push to connect fitting on the system. Be sure the tubing is pushed all the way into the fitting and remember that it may be necessary to use the two bend supports to prevent kinking. Before installing the feed water fitting, shut off the cold water supply to the sink and open the cold water faucet to relieve any built up pressure. If there is no shut off, you may have to shut off the main water supply. Attach the feed water T fitting and insert one end of the 3 8 inch yellow tubing. The finished water purifier system installation should look something like this. The water purifier faucet base has a six month timer light that will remind you when filter cartridges need to be changed. The timer will activate once the battery is installed. To install the battery, remove the retaining screw on the faucet base and lift out the battery holder. Install the timer battery, noting the positive and negative sides of the battery. When first installed, the light will flash six times and turn off. When you see this indicator light flash, put the battery holder back into place in the faucet base and secure the retaining screw. Finally, turn the water back on and pressure test the system for leaks. Turn on the purifier's water faucet and let it run for 10 minutes. This will purge any air or carbon particles out of the filter cartridges. Once the system is purged, you're ready to go.